click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, uh, we did a very unique problem based on the heavy tanks and the light tanks. Uh, we did one more problem before that, problem number 15, which was quite unique and quite complicated and too much calculations. Now comes a problem where we have again uh, pet food feed based problem. Let's see the problem and then we will proceed further. Kishore Joshi mixes pet food in his basement on a small scale. He advertises two types of pet food, one is diet sub and one is grow more. So there are two types of food mix. Contribution from diet ups is 1.5 per pack and for grow more it is 1.10 per bag. Both are mixed from two basic ingredients that is a protein source and a carbohydrate source. So we have basically two raw materials, one is based on protein and one is based on carbohydrates. We mix them in a particular ratio or a particular quantity and what we get is the two different mix, one is Dietsup and one is Gromot. Dietsup and Gromot requires the ingredients in these amounts. So Dietsup is a 7 kg big bag and it requires 4 kg of protein and 3 kg of carbon, carbohydrate sorry. And we, we have a grow more small 3 kg bag which, which needs 2 kg of protein and 1 kg of carbohydrate. Kishore has the whole weekend ahead of him but his sources of ingredients have closed. He checks his beans and finds he has 700 kg of protein on hand and 500 kg of carbohydrates. This is the raw material constraint. How many bags of each food should he mix to maximize his profits? Formulate this as a linear programming model. So we need to formulate this as a linear programming problem with two different product mix. One is diet sub and one is grow more. We will first tabulate the table from the problem and then we will proceed further in the formulation. So let's formulate this as a Let's tabulate this as a linear programming problem first. So my products are diet sub and grow more. I'll put down the products in the uh, column. Diet sub, grow more. And here are my raw material. One is protein. One is Carbohydrate. How much of diets, how much of protein and how much of carb, carbohydrates in each of these two mix? Uh, we have 4 kg of protein and 3 kg of carbohydrates in diet sub. 4 kg of protein and 3 kg of carbohydrates. In case of grow mode, we have 2 kg of protein and 1 kg of carbohydrates. 2 kg of protein and 1 kg of carbohydrates. And then we have the supply here, or I can call it as the availability. How much quantity is available? Uh, I have 700 kg of protein and 500 kg of carbohydrates. So 700 kg of protein and 500 kg of carbohydrates. And then we are given the cost. We are given the contribution. Contribution per bag is 1.50 or diet sub and 1.10 rupees per kg per bag it's per bag be careful for grow more so we have the contribution given readily in the problem we need, we need not need to calculate it again 
now i am i am completely with my table which gives me the complete information from the question um nothing has been missed out as such and now we need to formulate this as a linear problem problem we will first make the assumption that we are making x1 bags of dietsup and x2 bags of gromor that is my first basic assumption let x1 bags of dietsup and x2 bags of gromor are manufactured basic assumption assumption let x1 units of right sir and x2 units of grow more are manufactured so i made the assumptions now my objective function will be to maximize the contribution or maximize the profit so maximize the profit slash contribution are denoted by z should be equal to how much is my contribution per kg it is 1.5 per bag multiplied by x1 bags and for gromor it is 1.10 per pack multiplied by x2 pack so it will be 1.5 into x1 plus 1.10 into x2 1.50 x1 plus 1.10 x2 subject to what are my constraints now my first constraint will be protein supply 4x1 plus 2x2 less than equal to 700 kg this is the maximum quantity available so i can't increase it beyond 700 kg so 4x1 plus 2x2 less than equal to 700 kg 4x1 plus 2x2 less than equals to 700 kg and for carbohydrates it shall be 3x1 plus 1x2 less than equal to 500 kg we are done with the basic assumptions now comes the last part non negativity constants x1 and x2 is the quantity we have assumed it can't be negative because it is a physical quantity so x1 more than equal to 0 x2 more than equal to 0 these are my non negative constants with this we are done with the problem we had we had two different uh, food mix here pet food mix one was diet sub and one was gromor and we were given almost all the information readily in the problem we need not need to calculate anything and based on that we are supposed to formulate this as a problem we have objective function and then we have two constants for the raw material constants for which limited quantity is available thanks thanks for watching this video please subscribe to our channel ikira